train fever. It's time for some more 101. Uh, last time we talked about our lines. Here's our line one and line two that we built. One thing, I wanted to give some shout outs. Hey, thanks for watching uh, Harrigan Dexoteric. I got some of your comments talking about kind of the, the A to B you know, how things move around and the timing and all that. And one of the big points, and I didn't talk about it too much, and that's because I don't want to overwhelm each episode with too much data, is this frequency right here. So as you can see, this line two has a 28 minute frequency. That's how often the truck is going to be showing up. And notice that's because we only have one and one. Uh, so to upgrade your frequency, all we have to do is click on our depot, buy a horse wagon, I'm going to go ahead and buy two of them, and let's set both of these for line two. And you can see that frequency goes from 28 minutes down to nine minutes. Now, that doesn't mean that the goods only have that nine minutes of travel. The 20 minute time still includes the time that the good would need to wait there and move along. So let's say, you know, you have nine minutes to wait, but the good gets there and it has eight minutes to wait until that nine minute frequency gets there. Then it has all the time that it takes to get to the next depot. Then it has all the times that it takes for that good or, or that if it was a resource for that resource to make it to a manufacturing. So time can still be a big cruncher, even with one way out here, like the oil well that we're trying to get fixed. I don't expect this oil well to do well this oil well to do well. You know, what I was really going for was just show you how to set up a line and how to actually make it possible for these to work. So keep an eye on your frequency. This is going to be a big player, whether people will ride or not. The other thing we need to go do is upgrade our stagecoach. I'm going to throw both of these on line one. But this episode, we are here to get the correct kind of fever, and that's train fever. This is not all just bus and truck fever. Even though I did notice there is an achievement to basically beating the game or making it to like 1900 or even like year 2000 without even using trains. Same thing in the opposite direction. There's one achievement to where if you use trains only. So that's kind of cool. Here's the little achievements up top. There's all these kinds of things. You know, I haven't made too many of them. I reached 1900, that was about it. Uh, but you get points and experience for for that. But what we want to do now is add a passenger line. I want to teach you guys how to do a single rail line. It's nice to do your double rail to make it so you don't have too much train traffic and all that. But my tactic for this series is to teach you how to do things in a way that's like most efficient with the funds that you have so you're not taking out a bunch of money and you're not going broke just to get your yourself going. Once you get a hang of the game, you can probably make more money by going into big debt right at the beginning to just get everything started. But I like to do a nice slow start, get our factories running. What I'm, My big goal for this series is getting the goods that aren't connected to towns connected. Uh, I want all the goods working for all the cities first. Then I'm hoping that will create such a good economy with these towns that they will all build up and then it'll be much easier. That means more residents to transport and things like that. So I'm thinking build a good infrastructure now on factories that aren't working. That will help us in the long run. So I want to build trains and I want to fix the broken connections first. And by broken connections, this isn't necessarily going to pay us money. But a broken connection to me is, see this right here, this coal. It could be used over at this factory, but it can't. Not just because I don't have transportation, but there is no road connected. So I want to go through and fix these, make it to where my cities are going to be doing better. This is going to help out East Lay because they're going to be able to start getting goods from here. You can see that the iron is going, but there's no coal going. So let's analyze this real quick. So you'll see what I'm really talking about. Uh, so what, what I'm going to have here is I'm only making two iron ore, and that's just because it takes so long to travel, there's no point for it to make more than that. And then you have my steel mill. That All that coal, sorry, that iron that's being transported, it's all being wasted because there is no coal. So let's get this coal fixed up, and while we do that, I will give you some nice tips on how to build with this terrain. I don't usually use the contour lines, but I will for the fact of building today for this moment right now. It's not so easy to just click here 
and drag all the way over here. It'll do it, but it's going to want to be a bridge because it's going to try to be nice and flat. But what you want to do is see this is a 91, you know, 91K right here. So you can hit this little balance button here and it'll try to balance it out. Or if you hit it again, then you can manually raise it up or raise it down. So if you raise something up, realize that it's going to keep that slope going. And then if I hit OK, I'm happy with this, and then I kept going at the slope, it's going to keep going up and up and up and up. So make sure that this, that's where you see the flat ground and then this little arrow pointing up. Now I should have a nice flat track, and then this is going to have one that aims down a little bit. So if you're going downhill, you're going to need to aim down. If you're going uphill, you want to aim up. If not, you're going to try to build a tunnel or a bridge and it takes a little bit of getting used to. It's hard to explain even. Uh, you just have to play with it. So for example, don't do this full big stretch. I'm just gonna do a little bit right here. And then I'm gonna say, okay, that's good enough for me because now the, the land is going to even out a little bit. So let's see, I can go like this and see how that wants to build a tunnel. I don't want to build a tunnel, so I could say just naturally even it out, which it usually does a nice a nice guess, or I could click on it and even say go higher or lower again. Uh, but we don't want that, we just want it nice and even. 100K, look at that, perfect, right on the mark. And what we want to try to connect up to is this guy right here. So I have to make it to where I can get around that steel mill. Okay, I don't want to add too many unnecessary curves or distance. Every kind of distance matters. You want to make it a short distance. And we'll see by just adding this road connection if it starts actually getting coal. Uh, and that should work out for us well. The other one that I want to do over here is this one's kind of stretching it far. Is this good? This guy right here needs iron. And this guy right here needs iron. This one, I think I'm going to have to add some transportation because there's no iron up here. I'm going to get rid of these contour lines. The only iron that I see is all the way over here. And it's slowly providing iron ore for this one. But what I want to do is provide a better route, a more efficient, effective route here. And this is going to bridge. And you will see that all those resources along that path, they're all gonna disappear and it's gonna start redistributing straight across. Makes it a faster path. So even if we do add some buses and trucks, it's gonna be good to go. There you have it. Boom, and I'm gonna connect this one straight up here. So hopefully this plant will actually almost double in production because it's needing to supply both goods. Uh, in the, in the chat I did bring up there were some good comments on why why wouldn't I want to build a bus system where these guys are already working because you can and you will make money off of it don't get me wrong but in 1850 your carriages are so slow that you're not actually providing an upgrade in speed and if you're not providing an upgrade in speed your vehicles will be running but your goods won't actually be taking your vehicles and I've seen both cases where you can kind of start banking off of it or you are actually losing money in maintenance costs. So it depends on how far it is. I will throw some down. The one that I do like to help out is the goods more than having you know a truck run this lumber all the way up to the goods. For now, I just want something to help the goods get to the town a little bit faster. And that's kind of how that's going. So that was my logic there is it will work. It's not a bad tactic. It's just what I'm trying to do is get, for example, this guy to work and these guys to work uh, because I want all these towns to get as many goods as possible. Okay, okay, okay. Back to, back to business. We connected two broken connections. We're going to move on from that. Now what I want to do is make a train station. See, I told you we're going to get to it. Here's the train track right here, right now. And what you want to do is, we'll look at our land value, land use, I'll pull this up here, and we want to provide a train stop. What I like to do is have one town kind of like in the industrial commercial area and leisure, 
and then I like to connect it to another city in the residential area. So what I'm trying to hope is that the residents will go from one town to the other town and shop at the goods. It's my hope. It's probably not perfect, but it does work. So far, I would say go for it. I'm trying to think. We have this nice square region. Maybe we should have this... Uh, what is this? Launceston? Uh, we could have this area our hub. We could have like a, a train hub over here, try to promote some growth on this side. Or, let's see... We're going to be getting a lot of goods here. But we already have a bus line running this. So maybe we can have the bus line take care of this. We'll get a train line running here. Yeah, and then we'll have a train line running here later. Okay, okay, okay. This guy's completely disconnected from the world, so let's fix that. I'm going to go the direction of, let's see, we got two, two million. I'm going to go double track because I haven't found a way to upgrade a single track station to a double track station once you build it. The only way I've seen to do that is to just completely destroy it and rebuild it with extra lines. Also, platform length is the other thing that you're going to need to pay attention to. This is going to make it to where, you know, of course, you can have longer platforms, longer trains, more passengers available. I've really only messed with 160. I'm sure eventually I'm going to be doing some retrofits, of course, when we move into more modern times. I want to build this road out a little bit longer because I want to have the station... Let's see, I'm going to have this come here. Okay, I want this to connect. Okay, so allow multiple ways for these guys to walk. Now back to the trains, back to the trains. Here we go. So it kind of connects on anywhere. Remember, if it says there's some collision, you have to either go in and destroy buildings or things like that. Just keep in mind, when you go to destroy a building and you can mouse over it, it's going to cost you money to blow stuff up. The higher the value of the building, the more expensive it's going to be to blow it up. So make your additions to the towns early. You don't want to be doing a lot of inner city work later on in the game. So let's go middle, the middle of the line here. The middle station, like this guy over here, I'm going to want to do like a four line station. This one too is going to work fine. But remember, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a single line to get there. So this is uh, the second line is going to be for future expansion, okay? So notice, first thing, if you make a big curve, you see the big red circle, little Waterloo looks like a little uh, under underground, you know, London stop or something. It's a speed limit sign is what it is. So that's saying you can go 120, I believe it's kilometers per hour, how it's set at the moment. And uh, if, the more you curve it, of course, it's going to slow your train down. So that's your maximum speed. So let's kind of keep a nice smooth curve and then check it out. Train line getting built. As you can see, it's little snap points. You can click anywhere along the line. Uh, one tip for when you do go to double rails, uh, it, it does provide a nice little snap point and all you have to do is drag and it kind of auto snaps itself onto the line. So when you do need to build multiple uh, rail lines, it is very nice. And remember, if you don't want to build something, left click and then hit the little red icon to go, I don't want that anymore. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to we're gonna do a road crossing. Now, so far in the game, they have it to where you can build a railroad line on top of the roads, but you can't build the roads on top of the railroad track. I'm hoping that gets fixed with an update because that's a little frustrating. Uh, you can build like I, I believe road bridges. Let's try it real quick just to see. Let's say we want to adjust this and raise it up. Yeah, so it says unable to level terrain, so that's a different kind of issue. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll play around with that a little bit more later because I want to get this train line running this episode and not keep going off. There's too many cool things to talk about. So same thing with the trains. If I went straight through, it's going to create this tunnel and it's going to cost me a million dollars right there. If I just go straight up the hill a little bit like this, and I go, hey, even me out, even maybe bring me up a little, uh, it drops down to 160K. So let's make this cool, actually. A bridge isn't too painful. It's going to look kind of nice. I'd rather have a little bit of a bridge than a tunnel. And we don't want it just a straight, boring old track. So let's even this out. What is going on here? Oh, I see. That's not going to work because of the collision with the road. So let's bring this down this way. 
Okay, I want to keep bringing it. Okay, so it's aimed down as far as possible, but you can see it is going to start ramping downward. Okay, so this is, but if I aim it up, it's going to go up. So I'm going to keep it going down as much as possible. Okay, this road's going to be an interesting one to try to cross. I might have to raise it up. Ugh. Raise it up more than I want to. Oh, this is going to work right here. So that doesn't work, but this one works. So I just want to be able to get this thing down like this before I get back to the town. That's going to be perfect right like that. And I want to swing it in on, let's see, what's blue again? Blue is industrial. So let's put our station right around here. So let's get the station ready. And look at our money disappear. This is why I build lots of successful uh, bus lines and other lines first before I usually jump ahead to building these trains because it takes a little while for these guys to start making a really good profit because uh, you got to have those goods go into the city first. All right, so let's get some more trains. Click on this here. Ha ha ha. So what do you guys think about the game so far? I know quite a few people who've started watching have picked it up themselves. And I'd be curious to see what you're coming up with, what you're building. Uh, yes, please let me know. Let me know how it goes. All right, I'm going to put the station down first. Oh, that's right. This one I want a four-line, four-track station. Wow, I might as well make it a five-track. I haven't seen that. Okay, cool. That puts that one track on the far end. I like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. Okay, let's see, let's see, right, right about here, right about here. Let me make sure this is all good on both sides. Can I easily build tracks there? Okay, I can. Good, good, good. So what I want to do now is connect this magical line over. I'm having struggles clicking on it there. There we go. I had to click on it right on the edge. Uh, let me make sure I'm, I'm connected to the right one. Okay, so let's say I want to have some lines coming from the other end. This guy's coming straight across. I want him to uh, maybe connect there. But actually, I'm going to connect like this. And then what I'm going to do here is have this line connect. We will have two lines coming out of the station. But then I'm going to have it connect up here. Because I don't want him to block off the station because I'm going to have trains coming from the other lines. And we'll get into kind of that strategy soon as well. I'm stretching this out a little bit. So notice, okay, once you let go, you, you can still move around. What you do is see this little gray circle, click on it, and then you can still move it. Is I want to stretch it out because then that makes it so I don't have to slow down so much. The other reason why I wanted to do a single line is I wanted to talk about building both a passing loop and I want to talk about the signals okay so I'm going to actually be building two trains on this line so a passing loop before I even build the train let's build a passing loop and basically that gives a turn off for your trains so they don't wait at the other stations and wait for the other train to come in because they can't use the single line. This makes it to where they can still kind of start using the single line and then one's going to pull off. So I will both build it and show it to you in action. You just want to make sure that this right here is long enough to fit the trains that you're going to put in it. So we're going to stretch this out. We'll just make it, this is over the top. This is a pretty big passing loop but better bigger than smaller. So here we go, we've got that, and then we're gonna fit this guy back in here, okay? So now, in the current setup, in the current setup, what would happen is, so let me actually just demonstrate it. I'm going to build a train depot, and we're gonna build two trains. I'm probably gonna have to take out a loan, which I don't wanna do, but for the purposes of training and showing off what can happen, I want to do that. So for the train depot, you just need to stick this anywhere on the, on the line. So I'm going to have it stretch out here. And this is going to be good like that. And then this line, I want to have connect to it like that. So a train from either part of this station will be able to go into the depot. The depot's kind of just like the bus depot. It's just a little thing, instead of connecting it to the road, you connect it to the rail line. 
But this works the same. You buy your train. All we have right now in, let's see, 1850 is the, the Spanish vehicle. Uh, you get both the train here, which it shows traction. So traction is important for getting up the hills. And let's see, hmm, top speed, there you have it. That's when you're on a nice flat terrain and your lifespan is important. So remember, you wanna to try to find a train that has low running costs and a good lifespan. Right now, we get one choice, so that makes it pretty easy for us. It costs 201K, so I can buy one. So I'm gonna buy that train. So you can see that the train starts, I'm gonna pause the game so I don't keep just losing money. Here's our train one, and here's our train depot. So the depot shows that we have the engine. So now we have our passenger car, which can hold six people. Uh, we have a open wagon, which can haul the coal and iron. We have an oil tanker, which is going to be doing oil. And then we also have a goods wagon. For now, we're gonna use our train for passengers. So let's go ahead and build a car right here, an extra car. And now we have to set up our line just like we did with the buses, except instead of clicking on the bus stops, we're obviously gonna be clicking on so we hit new line, we're gonna be clicking on the train stations. It's already on add station, we're gonna say this is station number one. We're gonna say this is station number two. And then what we're gonna do is go, click on our train right here, which you can separate them, you can put them together, you can delete each piece, but what we wanna do is set all line once they're connected and hit set line three. Boom, it is waiting for a free path. So let's go look at it. Let's go see what's wrong with the line. And take out, let's say a million dollars cash. Thank you, bank, for just giving me all the money in the world. And I think what's gonna help, I figured it out. Guess what, guys? I'm paused. So let me bring up my train, which I can click on right here. Bring up train one, press play, boom, found the line. <laughs> <laughs> there was no trouble in the line. However, I will see the air of no path. No path means that there is some break in the line. So we don't have to deal with that now. You can see he's on his way. I'm gonna buy another train. That's why I borrowed all that money. It's because I wanna sh Oh, so I could blow stuff up like that. Always make sure you get rid of the bulldoze button. All right. Oh, 18K, nothing we can't borrow. So let's go ahead and escape out of this, click on the depot, buy a train, let's buy another set of these guys. We're gonna set line, set line three. So notice one thing there, we just upped our frequency. Our frequency on line three is now six minutes. I'm sure it was probably around 12 or 15 or something like that. And we already have one person waiting at the station. So our problem now is going to be these trains being in the way of each other. Ooh, this guy's on the bridge. Check it out. The bridge over nothing. It just kind of helps add some visual look to it. It'd be cool to be driving, cruising around on the road, seeing the nice train bridge off to the side, into the fields. So yes, this is train one. What shall we name train one? I'll let you guys decide. Train one name is up to the viewers. Tell me. Comment, post, train one, wooden choo choo, the big Monty, I don't know. Name it after yourselves, whatever you want to do. Here it is, looking awesome, going, going slow speed, let's speed this guy up, let's go full speed, full speed ahead guys. What we should see, now let me show you, let me show you what's happening. This guy. He's waiting all the way back at the station because he doesn't have the proper light signals. So if I come up here and fix these signals, since the train is driving on the left, and I put a signal, let's go to trains, let's go to signals, and I put a signal right here, what that should do is allow him, instead of waiting all the way back at the station, it's going to allow him to move forward up to that signal and he's not making me a liar, which I really appreciate. So what that's gonna do is this train is filled up with passengers and he would wait here all the way for that train to come all the way back and into the station before he could leave. And then guess what happens? The train that's here, it's gonna be sitting at the station all the way until this train goes all the way there and back. So now that we've put this train loop in the middle, 
What it does is now once he picks up his passengers, he's going to run up here and then stop here before going all the way. So that's kind of the reason of why you want to do a single line, do a train loop in the middle. I could probably do another train loop. Uh, well, see, doing a train loop here is kind of pointless. The best case in this scenario would have been to not have the bridge about right here, because this is about that 50% way marker, marker point, and kind of do the train loop here. Eventually, when we make enough money, we'll just double line it and have two train lines running, and they won't even get in each other's way. But what I wanted to show is at least this train now is going to move forward, and what it's going to allow for is this guy to then switch and then okay this signals good this signals in the right spot because when the train comes from this side like this he's gonna go that way so I want to get rid of this one I got rid of the wrong one there we go so that signals gonna take care of this guy and he's gonna stop here while wow, train one should be close to on his way See, and there he maybe goes, or maybe not. Maybe he's confused. Waiting for a free path. Okay, he is on the left side, and he needs a free path. So let's put a light here. Okay. And let's put a, that should at least let him go up to that point, right? and get out of the station a little bit because this guy is not going to move anywhere. The other guy has a free path. He's just not going yet. Where? Why are you not going yet? Time to troubleshoot again. Waiting for free path. It's not paused this time. <laughs> I'm going to... You can stop. You can reverse. You can reverse them again and then you can run them. Maybe that's what it took. Okay, had to kind of unbug him. Stopped him, reversed him. Uh, it takes the passengers out of him, but make sure you realize you can click stop, reverse uh, to get out of a bind like that. Let's see, he might just go up to this and stop. No, he's back on track. It's all fixed. It's all better. I don't actually know what the problem was because this should work out just fine. Let's go full speed and watch these guys go in action. And then once these two trains get a system down a little bit better, it'll be a little bit more even. And what you want is them to hit that loop at the same time, pass each other, and then really the trains don't have to stop, even though you have a single train line. Or if they do have to stop, it's just for a few seconds and it keeps that frequency number up. So since we fixed it, our frequency on line three has gotten better. This guy's not waiting so much. Oh no, he's gonna crash, he's gonna hit right into him. Oh, okay, no, he went around. And the lights work. As soon as the path is free, they move on their way. And this is what you wanna see, is those two trains going in opposite directions, going to their stations, coming back and switching, and switching and switching and switching. Okay, nice little shoe tie loop-de-loop -loop action. Okay, there you have it. That is our first train line, train line three. We shall see how successful it will be. Uh, the before I end this episode, let's see how, look at it, look. Let's see how our new roads are doing. We now have a full 25 production out of this coal mine that had no production beforehand just by building a road, no transportation. And over here, look at this guy. This guy had no production before. He's got 23 production just by building a road. He's transporting it to both this steel mill. No, he's not even going to that steel mill. He's going to the steel mill all the way over here, Wigton Steel Mill, which is now providing goods to Wigton just by building a road. That's what I want to see is all these goods producing, bringing goods to these towns, and now that should be more people who want to get from Kirkby over to Wigton because there's more goods and things like that. So we're upgrading the goods. It's gonna upgrade our economy. We're gonna go from there. I think we're on the right track, but I don't wanna hold you any longer. We've spent about three years this episode and probably too many minutes, but hey, we got it down. We ran into a few snags. I like 
keeping them on camera. This is a 101. I should give it to you exactly how to do it, but I like kind of running into some of these bugs and working through them because you guys might be running into the same thing. So you can give me a bunch of trouble for it. Remember, I'm just trying to help here. Uh, I've loved the positive comments I've seen so far. I think we're all kind of coming up with some good ideas and good tactics, and I will continue to be in the threads, posting back, and looking to make some more episodes. I'm kind of hopping in between some other stuff. I got to finish up my Star Forge, uh, my Sims 4. I just picked it up. I got a good sale on it already. And of course, I'm going to be hopping back into my Sim City at some point because you just always get that Sim City bug and you got to go back. So here I am, Train Fever. Hope you guys are enjoying it. See you guys next episode. And again, thanks for watching.